All right, welcome back everybody. Today we are building barbed wire fence and I builded this H brace. I had to build this H brace and I'll show you how I built this H brace. Uh, uh, I had to dig two holes because the previous H brace what was here, uh, it fell over. It just broke. So then we had to dig two more holes and uh, then all I did was I measured, you have to measure, you can cut a notch into your log like what I did right here, if you can see that, I cut a notch. Uh, you don't have to cut a notch, you could just have a log and then put it here and then pam a pin through the back of this and you drill a hole and stuff. But I just cut a notch in it and then I just took a, uh, this is a DeWalt screw gun off a T30 bit. And I just took a six inch screw, and if you can see that, it's right there. And I screwed it in, and uh, so then uh, it holds this in place, this, the eight, the brace that goes across here. And then all I did was I took some of this, uh, you can get this at your, like North 40 or your lo local uh, hardware store. It's just a uh, bobless wire. It has no bobs on it, so it's like bob wire, but it has no bobs. And that's all I used. I just took it and I, I already went. I already went around once. You can go around twice if you want. Uh, I went around once, but all you do is you pan a staple up here, and I pan my staple. If you come over here and you look, I pan my staple sorta in line with my post right here. So then I pammed it right here and then um, I put my uh, uh, wire what's right here. I think I put it about a foot off the ground. The reason why I put my, because uh, it goes in an angle, the reason why I put my uh, wire right here on the bottom like a foot off the ground is because if I put it way too low and it's up that angle, it'll, pull the, it'll stop pulling this post out of the ground. <laughs> So that's why I put it up. It has to be like in a 30 degree angle or something. I just put mine about a foot off the ground on the bottom. And then I put it in line with this top beam. And, uh, and I did a little, uh, I did a, something what you shouldn't do is I put this, uh, uh, the thing that twists up this wire. I put it on this side. And this is the side I'm going to put my bob wire. And you're supposed to put this on the other side so it's not in the way of the barbed wire. Uh, and if you guys want to know how tight to get your uh, angle wire, I just, I don't know how tight it is actually, but it's like pretty tight. And I think it's like, I can barely pull it back. So, I might have tightened it a little too tight, but I think this is about right. It's pretty solid. Yeah, this one's like solid, and this one over here is like solid. I mean, we gotta do a little more packing right there. Mm -hmm. and a little packing right here, because you can see there's a little crack. crack in it. Pretty impressive, though. Yeah. And now Caitlin is camming these uh, T posts, and we're gonna build a uh, fence, barbed wire fence. We're gonna do a uh, four prong. It's we call it bull wire. We're gonna do. And we're putting our T-post, uh, we're putting our T-post, uh, 10 feet apart. So, you could do 8 or 12. We're doing 10 feet apart, and then we're going to pit, um, what are those called? Put them in between barbed wire. Cedar post? No. Uh, it's something, but you put them in between the barbed wire, so then the barbed wire doesn't open wide. It's called like a stay, fence stays. I call it fence stays. Mm -hmm. We're gonna lose this stuff. This you can get fence stays online where you just and you put them on and, them, and you just twist them and they go through the barbed wire. Or you can just uh, use some of this uh, bobless wire. And all you do is you. Uh, well, we'll do that on the next video.
But I'll just tell them. Nope. Let's just do it next to you. Okay, okay. It's looking good, guys. You're doing an awesome job. Woo!